We'd like to thank our sponsor, Visit Denver. The holidays are over, so now is the time for a cool winter vacation adventure. Joining us from Denver's Union Station to explain why is travel expert Jennifer Weatherhead. Jennifer has visited more than 70 countries, and today she's teaming up with Visit Denver. Welcome, Jennifer Weatherhead. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much. Good to see you. All right, Jennifer, we understand this is a special day at Denver Union Station. Can you tell us more? It is. It's a very special and exciting day because it's the official kickoff of the Winter Park Express train that leaves from Union Station in downtown Denver. It takes you straight to Winter Park Resort. This is so convenient because you get to skip all the driving and head straight to the slopes. It really should be a part of every winter itinerary. So Denver is one of the only places in the country where you can actually hop on a train, combine some mountain adventure with world-class urban dining and some arts and culture, and you can do it all in in one day. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, why should Denver be on everyone's Colorado itineraries? So, okay, I've been all over the world, and I have to say that Denver is truly one of my favorite cities. I love coming here, and it's the perfect combination with a Colorado winter vacation because you get 300 days of sunshine, you get that world-class dining experience, must-see cultural attractions, plus outdoor adventure. It really is that perfect combination for a winter destination. The Denver International Airport is close to the city, so you can easily get a train from the airport to downtown and Union Station. And it's called the Mile High City for a reason because it's a mile above sea level. So the benefit to this is when you stay in Denver, you can acclimate to the altitude before you hit up those ski slopes. Oh, that's amazing. That looks so much fun. All right, please share something that should be an important part of every Denver vacation. Okay, I'm definitely going to say the food because Denver's dining scene was making so much news last year. In 2023, Colorado welcomed the Michelin Guide to the state. So that means that Denver is now home to 26 Michelin Guide recognized restaurants. There's such a diverse cuisine scene here. So we have barbecue, Israeli, Mexican, Latin, Italian, and so much more. You have unique flavors here with fresh ingredients because we're so close to many local farms. So you can try out some Colorado lamb beef, bison, lots of fruits and veggies. And I just love that Denver also does some outdoor dining during the winter. So they have yurt style pods and some patios. And it's just, you know, you really don't want to miss out on the Denver food scene when you come here for a visit. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm making note of that. All right. Tell us a little bit more about the ski train. Yeah, so Denver really is that perfect destination when it comes to a winter vacation because you have those beautiful Rocky Mountains as your backdrop. So you can also head northwest to Boulder Flat Irons or to Rocky Mountain National Park. They have iconic stretches of scenic trails and some spectacular views. You can do some cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. But really, to start off your mountain adventures, you can hop on that train to Winter Park Ski Resort for all of those adventures. And you don't have to worry about driving, renting a car, or driving through any kind of winter conditions. You leave Union Station in the morning. You return by 6.40 p.m. at night. One great thing is that kids ride 50% off, so it's perfect for families and just such a great way to combine some outdoor adventure with all of that urban adventure, too. I love the 50% off thing you just said. I'm going to write that down. All right, Jennifer, where can we go to find out more information? Yes, so head over to visitdenver.com. The site has so many great tips when it comes to planning out your winter vacation. They even have some tips on renting outdoor gear at discounted rates compared to those mountainside rentals because you don't want to be packing and lugging all your winter gear with you when you're traveling. And don't forget to pack your sunscreen. I mentioned 300 days of sunshine, so you know it's going to be super sunny and bright on those ski slopes. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, thank you, Jennifer. Always a great time to share with you. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Visit Denver.